Uh, I have tonight a mini pizza box suitcase. Okay, so the pizza boxes were introduced in our holiday catalog. And if you um, didn't realize, they were held over to um, through the occasions catalog and they will also appear in our annual catalog. You get eight of them for $6 and they are really um, great and sturdy if you need a 3D project. They're super for delivering treats. Um, they're food safe. They also are the right size for three inch uh, note cards and envelopes. And what I've done with it tonight is created a little gift box. And this is inspired by the set Going Far, which kind of has a suitcase and travel theme. And it opens to reveal a little pull out accordion greeting and gift card. Okay, so um, it's actually quite simple to make. And I think it's very adaptable in colors and themes. It could be a birthday present, it could be Mother's Day. Um, I've made this same one in pinks, so I've colored maybe a little differently. Uh, and I've used the cake soiree paper. But on the inside, it's basically the same, except that I have used the circle tab punch as my pool on this one. So that's a little different. That's an option you can keep in mind as we make. Um, we're going to make the, the navy blue one tonight. That's from the, the True Gentleman Suite, or the True Gentleman Paper, Truly Tailored Suite, um, something like that in the Occasions Catalog. All right, so you actually... Um, don't need, oh, before before I go on, I um, would love to send you pieces for this project. If you would like um, to order, if you order $35 by Sunday night with the hostess code shown here, I will send you a kit, including the pizza box and everything to make this project. Um, the pieces are not stamped, and that's per Stampin' Up! rules. Um, but you'll also get this PDF, which um, give you the dimensions, and you can refer back to the video, which will also be in YouTube form on my blog. So I hope to get this posted on my blog later tonight or um, early tomorrow if I'm having trouble. I don't know. This is my first time that I'll be converting a, a Facebook video into my YouTube account, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but just so you know, did I say the pieces won't be stamped, uh, and you can you can change it up if you like. All right, so let's get to the project. There are a few pieces that you pretty much have to have, and then the rest is decoration. So we're going to concentrate on the structure of the box first. And I've got um, the designer paper here, and... It measures three and three eighths by eight, and it's scored at three and a half and four and a half. Okay, and then a long piece. So this is this is the piece that wraps the bulk of the case, and then there's one skinny piece that wraps the width of the case. Okay, and that piece is seven eighths by ten and five eighths, and it's also um, scored twice at three and a half and seven and one eighth. Okay, and then we have the inner pieces. We'll get to that in. A second okay so the pizza box is very easy construction you just fold it up on the scores and it pops together with tabs and Like I said, it's very sturdy. And we're going to decorate it after it's constructed. All right, so I am going to um, put this sticky strip, or I'm sorry, the, the tear and tape in place for this corduroy trim that makes it look like a suitcase. And, oh, let's see, let me, let me switch out. This is actually the pattern I'm using. Um, 
what we're going to do is get the sticky strip in place while this is flat and it makes it a little easier and I am going to use my grid paper and I'm going to place the tear and tape three quarters of an inch from the edge okay so I'm just using the grid paper as a guide here and I'm going to do that on both sides Okay, and I'm going to um, snip that close to each end here. Oops, put the paper up in. All right, and set that aside. And then um, fold on those score lines, and you'll see this. This just covers um, the bulk of the box. Okay, since I, I damaged that a little bit, we're going to put that, that side on the back. Okay, so try not to do that. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to use my um, Tombow adhesive to glue this onto the box. Oh, one thing I almost forgot. On the pizza box, there are these kind of tabs that um, stick out here. I'm going to press them in with my bone folder just to make that kind of smooth so it the tabs don't um, affect um, the the keep the box from standing okay so I just press those in a bit and like I said I'm gonna use the Tombow glue just because that gives me some time the liquid glue give me some time to um, slip the paper into place if it's a little off and I'm not a ta I'm not putting glue on this um, bottom spine. Uh, I just think that that allows a little give as this is opened and closed so that that um, isn't an odd an odd attachment there. Okay, so I'm going to um, slip the box into that spine and kind of push the paper into place here so that it's nice and straight on the front and back. And this is a papery side of the pizza box, so that Tombow glue will be, um, will be, that will make a nice attachment with the Tombow glue. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, um, this corduroy ribbon, which is also from that True Gentleman Suite, is just so nice um, because it's not woven and you can cut a raw end and it doesn't fray. So I'm going to use that directly on my box and just line up the top of the ribbon with the top of my designer paper and then wrap to the back. And then on the back, I'm going to um, cut that flush. And this one kind of gets hidden. You can kind of tuck it up there by the tab. Okay, so you've got that. And get the next one. All right, so we have two sides with the ribbon. Makes it look like a little suitcase. All right. And then we have this band um, also to put on the outside of the box. Okay, and I will use um, my Tombow glue again. and push that in place. That Tombow glue lets me get this nice and straight aligned on each surface. Um, you can just slip it until it's perfect. Okay. Okay. So um, let's talk about, okay, if you do have a woven ribbon, like on this um, pink version, 
what I did instead of ending that right here where you'd see a frayed end I left that piece a little longer this was the edge we started at when I wrapped the ribbon I left that longer and then I just tucked it up on the inside there with my um, tear and tape so that would be um, hidden and it's a nice thin ribbon and these boxes are you have a little a little room there um, for ribbon to slide in and out as well okay so now we need to create and attach this cute little handle um, I've made this with um, framelits let me show you how I am doing that I have the one and five eighth inch square stitch square framelit and I'm going to nest that with the one inch square framelit. If you don't have the stitched but you have the square, there's also one and five eighths of, of the plain square that um, you could use for this as well. In fact, I did that the first couple of times before I realized the stitched looks um, really cute and it's the same size. So I'm just going to put that through the big shot. And take that piece and you can see it looks like well half of it looks like the handle and let me show you how I am folding that handle I have my scoring tool here and I've marked in the line at 10 inches so that I can center pieces in that location and um, I'm just gonna make sure if I count three lines there three lines there yeah I know that's centered okay so from 10 inches I'm going to make my score lines 1 8 inch away from that 10 inch mark on both sides okay so I'm gonna be scoring at 10 and 1 8 and also 9 and 7 8 Okay, and then I'm just going to fold that and add Tombow adhesive here. Again, that liquid glue gives you some time to slip this all into place. I'm matching up the top of the handle the, the the edges of the squares I should say and you can kind of see that gives you this triangular kind of profile here and I'm just going to once I have the top lined up here I'm going to push those pieces together and then force that bottom into a flat surface okay and that's how I'm gonna make my handle. I'm gonna do that on both sides Okay, so that's a really simple little handle, but it looks really cute, especially with that stitched edge. Um, you know, that's really easy to make. Okay, so we're going to take the box, which we've kind of got decorated and ready, and I'm just going to um, add the handle with glue dots. All right, and then I'll center this, kind of take a second to make sure we're happy where it's lined up, and push that in place. Okay, so there's the, the suitcase with the handle. And uh, we can move now to the inside. Like I said, we'll save the decorations for later. All right, so the inside construction um, uses a piece that is um, 12 inches long to make the accordion strip. It's 3 inches by 12 inches. And you can, um, if you like, you can make a longer accordion. I was keeping it pretty simple here. If you took an additional 3 inch by 12 inch piece and attached it here, you could have even more pleats to your accordion and decorate them how you like. Um, but we'll do it simply with this 3 inch by 12 inch piece. It's scored at every 3 inches. And you also need for the inside a um, Knight of Navy um, background square, which is three and a quarter inches square. 
and a backing piece for the gift card section that's two and seven eighths inch square and a white a whisper white piece for the greeting on the back and that is two and three quarter inches square okay and that's basically it except for the decorations which of course you can modify do what you like there okay so I am going to, um, the easiest way um, to see how this comes together is to just start building it up from the back. Okay, so I've got my accordion pleats made here. And I am going to attach the back to the um, Knight of Navy Square back there. Okay, I'll just do that real quick with my Tombow glue. Okay, and I'm going to center that on the square. And I think it's easier to see where you need to make the slot if you sort of get this all under construction um, right from the start. And I've already got my good luck stamp on the Whisper White piece, so let me just attach that to the um, that back piece. Okay, so um, now let's work on getting this gift card slot in place, and then we'll also stamp this inside portion of the um, of, of the pull out accordion. I am using the um, classic label punch, and what I'm going to have you do, you can do this from the right or the left side, but you want to go into this um, second panel from the bottom and push all the way in, use, use that edge of the cardstock as a guide as to where to stop, and you are going to punch once. Now, this is not quite wide enough for a gift card, as you can see, so you do need to make a longer slot. And since you pushed up to the edge of the cardstock, if you just slide down a bit and punch again, you'll have your slot in perfect alignment with your first punch, okay? So whether you do that from the right or the left, it doesn't matter. You, if you went from this side, you can see it's a little off center to the left. If you went from this side, it would be a little closer, you know, the other way. So it doesn't matter which way you go. And at this point, we are just going to stamp and again, these are stamps from that same set going far, and I know where the slot is now, so I can stamp just over to the side of it, and I'm going to add some flowers on the other panels as well. Oh, hi guys, yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. Sorry. I will look through the comments later. If you didn't hear the beginning, I'm sorry. I'm just so new to this. It's probably going to be hard for me to um, keep up with trying to talk to you and trying to do the project at the same time. <laughs> so my apologies. Um, but I will take time at the end if you have any questions or um, to catch up with you and, and make sure to answer any questions before we go. All right. So um, as you can see, now there's a spot for the gift card. Remember what I said, though, that gift card, you cannot make a full pocket for that. If you closed up that one end, the gift card wouldn't fit. You know, it wouldn't clear the box, okay? So you cannot make a pocket end. We've just made a slot here. And the way I've accomplished that is it will help if you have a gift card in hand that you can slide into your slot and turn over and see where you can have glue. Okay, so you can have glue up in this area and you can have glue on this side and this side, but you cannot seal up this end. Okay, so uh, I am going to apply the glue. Now we've got this cover piece that was two and seven eighth inch square and we're going to put that on. I, I would recommend that you put the glue um, on the accordion strip because if you um, put it too close to the center of this panel it might stick through the um, the slot 
and you don't want that. Okay, so I'm even going to slide this out now that I know where the glue needs to be so that I can just put this down flat. Okay, and that's how you figure out that pocket. Okay, it's very obvious if you have the gift card to put in place. And then there you go. So you, you haven't sealed up that end. I'll let that dry better. Okay. Oh, thanks, Mindy. Um, I have also um, got some of this inspiration for the accordion from my upline, Mindy Gray, who is on. So, hi. <laughs> um, I have her project. It was a memory project of, of a scrapbook um, pizza box case that we did at Christmas. And I'll show that to you guys at the end if you're interested. So, um, stick around for that. Okay. So, now, once you kind of have this all ready to go. Like I said, we can still decorate. Um, it's, it's not too hard to work with if you attach it to the inside of the box at this point. So I'm going to do that. Oops, I got some glue there. I just put adhesive on the back of that Knight of Navy piece and I'm going to drop that in to place in the bottom of the box. Okay, and you can see this coming together. So we need to decorate and add the loop to this front section of the accordion. I'm going to take, again, this wonderful corduroy ribbon, which doesn't fray, and I'm going to make a little loop of that to use as a pool tab. And I am going to just staple that right up into the center top of that panel. Okay, and then I have the Crush Curry Twine going to make a, a little bow tie to cover the staple. I actually don't mind seeing a staple, but some people do, so this is a nice little cover. And let me just put that in place with a glue dot. Okay, now I have added pieces from the Going Far set, and I don't think anybody wants to watch me color. Um, so I have those pre-made okay for the front of the suitcase and also the inside i will tell you what colors i used i colored these with the the stamp and blends and i've got um i've got the two shades of bermuda bay there i just kind of stayed within the same colors inside and out i've used the lighter rich razzleberry and the darker daffodil delight here and the Night of Navy, this is the Dark Night of Navy, and the Dark Smoky Slate, also on that middle case. I've got the Light Crumb Cake, since we're using a lot of crumb cake, and the Light Cherry Cobbler. Uh, and then these I must have added on the inside. Oh yeah, I've got the, um, the Daffodil Delight again, and Crumb Cake in red, but I've also added Pool Party for the Globe. And for some of these little stickers, there's a little bit of old olive in here. Um, and of course, my most useful stamp and blend, the eraser. I think I'm just too, or the color lifter. Um, I'm pretty quick and dirty, so I do go outside the lines a lot. So that's very helpful. Okay, so these pieces I have um, ready to go. I'm just going to take, this is the Crush Curry um, circle that is... Oh, little under, I think it's a little under three inches long. Yeah, two and three quarter inches long. So it's a stitch circle. I'm just going to attach it there to that first panel. And like I said, you can modify this, modify the decorations. I have my suitcase to put in here. And then I'll put my globe up on dimensionals. Uh, 
um, just drop that into place. And that completes what I've done on the inside. Okay, you can you can decorate more or less. I'd say just remember the important thing is not to close up this pocket on the inside. Okay, so there we have it. And like I said, I'll show you that other inspiration project that I have from Mindy from last Christmas. Okay, and on the front, I've got the um, the scalloped oval. I think this is just a little over um, three inches. Let's see, the scalloped oval is about three and a quarter inches long. And then I have a plain oval that is three and sixteenth inch. Uh, I'm going to put these in the front of the suitcase. I have this mini banner. This is from the um, treat bag thinlets. And sadly, that is on the retiring list. That is the one big surprise to me. I, I use that all the time. I think it's such a basic. And it makes that, that cute little pocket treat bag, but it also has these great shapes, um, a lot of great shapes with it. So if you didn't have this, this is one and a quarter inches wide. You could make a little banner like that. And... I'm going to also pop up the oops the suitcase piece here. All right, and then I added um, a double double tie of this crushed curry twine. I'll just show you what I've done there, and a little suitcase tag made with the. Um, corrugated elements so I see those are coming back too which is really great here's how I'm going to tie that on I'll just get this um, crushed curry kind of started now I've got a piece of linen thread here that I'll tuck in and catch as I tie this and make a bow here And then I have, um, these already have little holes punched on these little tags. Let me get a dot of glue on here for that heart. The heart I found is from my Apron of Love set. I'm sure you have little, little hearts or shapes, if not in that set. I just wanted to find something that was current, so it could be remade if, if needed. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take that end of... The linen thread that I've got tucked in behind that crushed curry bow tie and tie this off in a little knot oh it's always great to tie things live or on videos Okay, so there we have the little tag in place now. And I think that's everything. Yeah, the front's decorated, the inside is decorated, and the pullout is done. So that's it. And like I said, super adaptable um, to all kinds of themes. Like I think Mother's Day or birthdays um, or what have you. Uh, let me see. I think I've already mentioned there will be a PDF for this on my website. I'll try to get this posted with pictures tonight and um, transfer this video to YouTube so I can also post it at my site. And there's a lot of good shopping in April because, like I said, some of these things are retiring. So um, that stamp set for sure. Um, and you'll want to get things off the clearance rack as soon as possible. It was just updated. If you get these kind of things now, then you'll be um, set with them. And you won't have to worry about it in May as things are running out. And then you can pre-order. There's some fun new things coming in May from the upcoming annual catalog. And like I said, if you want to receive the um, kit to make this, um, use this hostess code that I've shown here. And it's also on the PDF. Uh, with your $35 purchase by Sunday night and I'll send you a kit so that you can um, stamp and make this same project. So otherwise, if you use my other monthly hostess code, which I always promise a free gift with, um, 
I will have to say nine times out of ten, my, my monthly gift is like a favorite embellishment. Um, either way, you'll get something good. So you can use this hostess code if you want this project, and I'm not going to confuse the issue by saying what the other one is. And any other than that, I just welcome any feedback you have. And uh, from here, I'll show you that scrapbook um, sample that we made at Christmas, if you want to stick around. And I'm going to also check comments. Oh, hi, guys. Okay. I'm just looking at comments now. I really appreciate you guys joining me. This is the first time. And I, I know, like they said, oh, you're going to have like one person and... You know, it might be your mom, but, um, you know, this is this was a really good experience, too. I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> okay, so this is the one we made at Christmas, um, and this was kind of the inspiration for the accordion part of this project. And my upline, Mindy Gray, showed us this in a class. You open up, here's a better look at that pizza box. You open it up, and it's an accordion that pulls out to the right. Now, these are two 12-inch lengths going together, and a lot of matted pieces and decorated pieces on both sides that you can make um, a scrapbook kind of gift for someone. So that's another option. Um, if you were making something like this, you could you could add pictures or or what have you. Just decorate the sections as you want and add sections if you want. So I loved that, Mindy. <laughs> Are there any questions or any feedback I can take now? Just have to wait a minute for the lag time. Let me put this one in place. It's more together. Oh, thanks, Christine. Oh, thanks, Mindy. Okay. I can actually read these now. I'm going to be so terrible at that. <laughs> So thanks again for joining me, guys. I, I guess that's it if there are no questions or um, comments, and I'll try to get this posted at my site. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Melanie. Did you know they were still there? <laughs> I know some people didn't realize they were carried over. All right, I guess, I guess that's it. Um, hmm. Very crooked. Oh, thanks, Mary Jane. I would love to do more. I just, I guess, just need that feedback. So, and if there are any improvements, I totally welcome that kind of um, commentary too. When is my next live? I don't know. Maybe I'll try next Wednesday night and see how that goes. If, um, if you guys want me to come back. All right, well, visit me for more ideas at BuckeyeInklings.com. That's also listed here, the website, and for online shopping. Uh, use the hostess code if you'd like to have the project pieces for this kit or for this project. And um, other comment can come through Facebook or to my email at StampYourWorld.com. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> I don't really know how to sign off. <laughs> I guess I'll just say good night um, and thanks again. Good night, guys. <laughs>